Hello viewers, welcome to Elimu TV. I am teacher Geoffrey and this is Geography Form 1. And today's lesson, we are going to introduce this subject called Geography. So, what is Geography? Geography is derived from two Greek words. One, Geo, and two, Graphia. Geo means the Earth, planet Earth. And graphene means to write, to draw, or to describe. So if you combine those two words, geo and graphene, you come up with the word geographian, which means to describe, to write, or to draw about the earth. This term was later developed to become today's subject that we call geography. And it is basically defined as the study of the earth as a home of man. Geography is the study of the earth as a home of man. We can also say <clears throat> it is the study of the distribution and interrelationship of natural and human phenomena on the earth's surface. Geography also, we can define it as a science that studies the earth as environment of humankind. So, you may ask yourself, what is environment? Environment means surrounding. But we can define it in geography as the external conditions that surrounds an organism. And when I'm talking about an organism, I'm talking about plant or animal. Anything surrounding a plant or an animal is what we call environment. Other terms related to environment include ecology. Ecology is that part of the environment which is the set of external conditions that influence the development and behavior of an organism that is surrounded by that environment. Uh, another term is habitat, which is the home that provides the physical conditions under which an organism lives. So let's go back to ecology, uh, to environment, I mean. Environment is divided into two. One, physical environment, and two, human environment. Physical environment is that part of the surrounding that comprises of all those features and phenomena that were not created by man. When we talk about vegetation, as you can see on your screen, when we are talking about mountains, hills, forests, etc. All those are physical environment. They were not created by any human being. But their existence can be influenced by human beings. Second part of the environment is the human environment. And here we are talking about human activities being conducted on the earth's surface. As we have seen, geography is the study of the earth as a home of man. Geography has three branches. Two are major and then one of them is minor. Though we have other sub-branches that we will study right along. So, this physical geography of said we study about physical features that exist without being created by human beings and we talked about human and economic activities where we will study about the activities being conducted on the earth's surface by human beings and lastly we talked about practical geography which entails equipping the learner with the skills of studying uh, physical geography and human and economic geography to wind up Let's talk about the importance of this subject called geography. Number one, geography uh, focuses on the physical study of the earth. Hence, we will be able to know about the origin of the earth, the shape of the earth, the structure of the earth. So it will give us that knowledge about our planet earth. We'll study all that in geography. Number two, geography will equip us with skills of observing, recording, interpreting, those are maps, uh, maps, uh, charts, diagrams, etc. Another importance of geography is that it is a tool for better citizenship. In geography, we'll be able to know different cultures which are affected by different environmental conditions, hence appreciating them. And another significance is that geography 
will inculcate in us or will cultivate in us that skill of managing time by doing time schedule. For example, we'll do field work in geography and when we are doing this field work, we have to observe time, we have to manage our time well so that we can uh, achieve the objectives of, th uh, of that field work. So, by doing field work, we'll be able to know how to manage time and that is a very important skill in our life. Another significance of geography is that it creates awareness on the significance of the management and conservation of environment. We'll be able to know the importance of the environment and the need to conserve our environment. If it is trees, if it is uh, the drainage, for example, lakes, rivers, swamps, etc. The significance of all those drainage basins and why we should uh, conserve them and manage them properly. And lastly, geography is a career subject which is very important. You want to be a pilot, you need geography. You want to be a surveyor, you want to be a meteorologist, climatologist, all those, they need geography as a subject. And this subject called geography also is a necessary requirement for admission in very many courses. Otherwise, I hope you have learned a lot about geography, what it entails. And in the next lesson, we'll discuss more about the relationship between this subject called geography and other disciplines, for example, mathematics, economics, meteorology, etc. Thank you for watching Elimo TV. Stay tuned.